Printing directory structure including the file names and subfolders can be done in Windows using one of the two simple built-in commands. These two commands eliminate the need to use third-party applications to perform this operation. For this demonstration, in this testing folder I have created multiple subfolders and files. So in the testing folder itself I have a bunch of files here as well as in each subfolder I have few files. In here we have four text files and here is the same and in some of these files for example Canada file uh, subfolder I have a bunch of text files as well as some PDF files just to create some variety. So each of these folders uh, have some files contained within them. Because we are trying to save the information contained within this folder, so all these files and folders listed here, we will need to open the command prompt in this location. The easiest way to do this is to type cmd in the file explorer uh, address bar. So at the very top on the fi Windows file explorer address bar, just select the address bar and then type cmd which is stand for command prompt and press enter. What that will do is to open your command prompt in that location. So as you can see, the command prompt is now open under C users Sanuja Senanayaka documents testing because the testing folder location is where the command prompt has now opened. Now we can use this command prompt to print all the contents within this folder into a text file. The first command we're going to try is called directory command. So we're going to type dir and then we're going to send that information to a text file called z and listing.txt. You can use whatever the name you like in here. I decided to use under C underscore listing dot txt so it's easy for me to find in here. What this is going to do is going to use the directory command and then whatever the output of that directory command will be printed to this text file. So if I press enter here now uh, like that, what that's going to do is to create that new dot txt file right here. Now if you go into this file and in, you open it, what you can see is it listed all the directories, for example, Alberta, BC, Canada, Ontario, Manitoba, Sanuja Web, etc. And all the files contained within the main folder or main directory of testing, which are these files, those text files and those uh, image files. But this did not list any of the files contained within these subfolders. If you're interested to get that information printed onto a .txt file, we can find another command within the Windows that can be used to do that. So let's try that option. So if you open the command prompt again, but this time instead of using the directory command, which printed the content within the testing folder itself, but not the subfolders, we're going to use a new command called tree command. It's another command, right? So in the tree command, we need to give the location in which the tree command gonna go through and iterate uh, the information within it. To do that, we're gonna use uh, the parentheses like these ones, and we need to copy the location of this folder. To do that, you can go to the address bar and try to copy here, but because we use the command prompt cmd command right here, it's not in the correct address location right now. To do, uh, get that right information, you can go back and come back into the folder. Now you will have the correct location. So it's going to be C user Sanuja Senanaga document testing. So we're going to copy that information. And in here, we will go back to the command prompt and we're going to paste that location information. So the next thing we're going to do is to close that parentheses and then now we're going to send this information to a text file that will be saved in the same location. So we're going to paste the same information here because we're going to save it into the same location. If you choose to save it into a different location, you can do that in here as well. And I'm going to give a name to this file. So I'm going to call it C underscore listing dot 
xt uh, but i'm gonna put another name in here so i'm gonna say let's say uh, extended so i'm just gonna put ext in there it doesn't matter so that i will have a separate file with content within this folder as well as the subfolder but if you choose to not to create a new file and if you give the same name as this file it's just going to overwrite this file with that new information so you can choose to create a new file or you can choose to overwrite the same file then i'm going to close this parentheses but what really important here is you need to enter these two switches one of them is slash a the other one is slash f the reason why we need to use these two switches is if you don't do the slash a and slash f it's just going to list these uh, folders and not the content within them so you need to make sure you enter slash a and slash f then we're gonna press enter and by doing so we have created another file here so if i open the first file you have information with the files as well as the names of the folders within the testing folder but if i open the second one with that second command that we use you not only have the files within this folder which is listed up here it also has the folders right each of the, here like alberta bc canada those are folders and all the files within them so these are text files within them here's a pdf file right now showing up on the Canada folder and here is a, another file the uh, the image file showing up on the Sanuja web folder so by using that second command we were able to list not only the files within this folder itself but also the subfolders so that's how you can create a file containing contents of a folder within Windows this particular method work in Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows XP, Windows Server operating systems. And this can be a very useful tool, especially if you have hundreds of thousands of files within a folder that you would like to list them onto a file. Until next time, thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.